that you weren't here, so I'm sorry.
bottom depth is like the same. Yeah. No, I don't have any. Do what you gotta do. Alright, Mike. Okay. You take care of yourself. I don't worry, let me see how you Unless you want, want me to go and get some for you. <laughs> I saw your truck up there, I'm like, man, this has to be cool. That's the other. Wow, I think. I like it. I, mean, I do think maybe. I've been there. That's the other. I think. I like it. I, mean, I do think maybe. I've been there.
Gonna go get it. <coughs> Locked. Locked. I can unlock it in here. Thank you.
back here with it. Elish. Mishra. Eric. Anybody home? Is that?
Check a look. Yes. Daniel, like, just missed you or something? No. I don't know. He wasn't there. But he had, a, he had two packages, I guess. And I must have been not in the area. I didn't bring my keys. Um, oh, hey, 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 I got something for you right there. Yeah? What is it? Look on the fence to your right. Okay. It's a it's a red ho red tail hawk feather. The fence to the right. Red tail the hawk what? feather. Really? That's Go to the right. Go to the right. That, no, that's left. The other way. Other way. This way. On the gate up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Right there. Right there. There should be some a feather on the fence. Red tail hawk. I love it. Should I keep it there? No, no, bring it in. Okay, okay. Did you get the mail already? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we have to. I need a screwdriver ASAP. There's two signs at the bottom of the 1968 one, and one says the uh, cold blue binker on it. Well, you have to get that inside. Yeah, yeah. Let me go inside. I'll come around. I see you in the bushes. You are going to get reported for trespassing. I'm going to make you your rescue. You're going to get caught. You're going to go to prison. Yeah. No. I don't know if he did or not. What was the sign? Hurry up and take him down. Take the drill and take him down. Oh, the bed. What? No? You got anything? 
can I help you? No, I was just looking at the plant. Oh, cool. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. I I forget the drawings are there sometimes. My bad. Sorry? Enjoy yourself. that uh, is nearby that we're attempting to uh, restore and uh, it probably can't be restored so we're trying to convert this this house to uh, represent the uh, former eventually so it's a long-term goal to make it a pavilion like a Japanese uh, Japanese pavilion about 24 by 12 feet Garden is very Japanese, you know. What was that? The garden has like a Japanese vibe. The one you're designing. Uh, the the plan is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's restoration and of uh, the uh, habitat to be native first, and then to qualify for tax breaks that are necessary for keeping the place um, affordable, and then slowly converting it to a Japanese park. Yeah. What are you doing with the water? On you like, do you have like a water stream? Um, the water is uh, mostly uh, permeable uh, rock is what we're going to be replacing it with, and then uh, we we probably would have a cistern and a swale sort of situation and uh, rain like a rain garden basically out of the uh, permeable rock that will be used for like the Zen garden kind of thing. Uh, mostly my my wife's uh, plan at the moment, so I'm I'm a little bit rusty on her vocabulary of it. Are you? Do you have a floor plan of what you're designing for the interior of the house? Can you say that again? Do you have a floor plan, floor plan of what you are designing for the house inside? Uh, at the moment, it's. Uh, it's uh there is a floor plan it's the same one it was originally but um yeah there is one for an, an intention it's not up there at the moment but it's probably on the web at uh the i think um probably should add it out on the board so. but as it stands nothing's uh, changing at the moment it's just uh Restoration and beautification uh, till till proper permitting is uh, allowed. So for the for the um, you're trying to bring back the house to what it, what, what it was originally. Is that it? Um, yeah, basically, uh, with a couple of like um, with a couple of twists, but yeah, there's there's too much house. There's there's too much out there. We're just trying to take the top floor and restore it. How do you know it was originally? It's called the research pool from L A D P S. Ah, you pull the record. Yeah. And then there's the, uh then there's the archives, the downtown L A archives. And then in the newspaper in the 1930s, uh, there's there's printed uh printed articles about uh, what was the address. Uh, oh, okay. The street used to be called Hoosted. Instead of doing the street was once called Hoosted. H-U-S-T-E-D. So, uh, yeah, it's a hotel out there. The street used to be called Hoosted. H-O-U-S-T-E-D. And they changed it to Ewing, but when it was hoosted, it was a, it was basically an apartment on top, a, a a bar in the middle that was hidden, and then a house at the bottom. So, and uh, on the, uh, the the property above us used to be a ceramics uh, uh, expert who accidentally blew up in his house, and his kiln exploded. 
What? The uh, property above you, or like right behind you, is also the uh, ceramics uh, home of the cer ceramicist. Like behind you, the empty property. Uh, no, to keep turning around. Uh, all the way, yeah, that one. Yeah, and the guy blew up there. He like uh, exploded. The house blew up from a gas leak. And so uh, the art, the artist uh, perished in his own home. And that house used to belong to the same property at one time. That's the only one we really don't don't know exactly what it looked like because it, there's very few records of that one, but that uh, foundation is all that's left. So. Can you like, design a, like a landscape for, for that area? Like uh, make it, making some sort of like a plaza or something here? Yeah, that's actually the the, the goal for real. Um, is to grow like a lot. There's so much graffiti there. We want to grow uh Things like morning glory and and uh, and other native and other native plants with that to overgrow the graffiti to cover it up by draping the ivies and stuff, and then uh, and create the the real goal is less about the house and, and more about the conservation easement, you know, the to uh, allow the gardens to uh, to grow into their full form, but overgrown, not not totally wild, but still natural, like disturbed terrain, disturbed habitat. Uh, and and let them be part of the general public, uh, everything but the house, you know, open it for a, a uh, public garden. So you want to do also this backyard complex, so your your backyard, the one I'm facing, yeah. you want to turn into a public thing too? Yes. That's right. How are you going to do that? Through non-profit conservation easement. Sorry? Through conservation easement, it's a term that you can file to so once you to create, to create a space. Once, what was that? So you mean once you plant it and it's like a valuable area, then with plants, then they give you an easement, the city? Or do you have an easement already? There's uh, There's prescription easement and then there's our conservation easement. Conservation easement is something that you file uh, with the assessor or a clerk. You know? and that's uh, that's we're in the process of drawing a contract for conservation easement to give back what we have uh, claimable to. Oh, okay. What's your name, by chance? Juan. Juan. Oh, my name is Jill. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you a, so you're a designer or an architect? Or? Uh, my wife is a is a student of uh, Taliesin West, the architecture school, and I and I'm a student of the San Francisco Art Institute or a former student. I graduated, so we are an artist and an artist and an architect uh, together, sort of nice. trying to uh, meld the. Uh, our studio practices by giving back as much as we can. Because we're, we're really not interested in one house. It's a, the whole neighborhood is a historic preservation overlay and needs, needs to be researched and turned into the, the Historic Preservation Board of California for, for uh, the community at large, because there's about 50 houses on this ridge that uh, all qualify for long-term historic preservation. And uh, with the house, Can I help you? No, I 
was just looking at the plant. Oh, cool. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. I I forget the drawings are there sometimes. My bad. Sorry? Enjoy yourself. What is the picture? Uh, it's a building that uh, is nearby that we're attempting to uh, restore, and uh, it probably can't be restored, so we're going to convert this this house to uh, represent the uh, former eventually. So it's a long-term goal to make it a pavilion, like a Japanese uh, Japanese pavilion. About 24 by 12 feet. Okay. The garden is very Japanese, you know? What was that? The garden has like a Japanese vibe. The one you're designing. Uh, the, the plan is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's restoration and of the uh, habitat to be native first and then to qualify for tax breaks that are necessary for keeping the place. Um, affordable and then slowly converting it to a Japanese car. Yeah. What are you doing with the water? On you like you have like a water stream? Um, the water is uh, mostly uh, permeable uh, rock is what we're going to be replacing it with, and then uh, we we probably would have a cistern and a swale sort of situation and uh, rain like a rain garden basically out of the uh, permeable rock that will be used for like the Zen garden kind of thing. Hmm. So uh, mostly my, my wife's uh, land at the moment, so I'm I'm a little bit rusty on her vocabulary of it. Are you do you have a floor plan of what you're designing for the interior of the house? Can you say that again? Do you have a floor plan floor plan of what you are the design for the house inside. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, it's uh, there is a floor plan. It's the same one it was originally, but um, yeah, there is one for an, an intention. It's not up there at the moment, but it's probably on the web at uh, wild.org, I think. Um, probably should add it out on the board. So. But as it stands, nothing's uh, changing at the moment. It's just uh, restoration and beautification until uh, till proper permitting is uh, allowed. So for the for the um, you're trying to bring back the house to what it, what, what it, what it was originally. Is that it? Um, yeah, basically, uh, with a couple of like. Um, with a couple of twists, but yeah, there's there's too much house. There's there's too much house, so we're just trying to take the top floor and restore it. How do you know it was originally? It's called the research pool from LADBS. Ah, you pull the record. Yeah. And then there's the uh, then there's the archives, the downtown LA archives, and then in the newspaper in the 1930s. Uh, there's there's printed uh, printed articles about uh, what was the address. Uh, so they, okay. oh. The street used to be called Hoosted. And instead of doing the street was once called Hoosted, H-U-S-T-E-D. So, uh, yeah, it's a hotel out there. The street used to be called Hoosted, H-O-U-S-T-E-D. And they changed it to Ewing, but when it was hoosted, it was a, it was basically an apartment on top, a, a a bar in the middle that was hidden, and then a house at the bottom. So, and uh, on the, uh, the the property above us used to be a ceramics uh, uh, expert who accidentally blew up in his house when his kiln exploded. So, what? 
the property above you, or like right behind you, is also the uh, ceramics uh, home of the ceramicist. Like behind you, the empty property. Uh, no, to keep turning around. Uh, all the way, yeah, that one. Yeah, and the guy blew up there. He like uh, exploded. The house blew up from a gas leak. And so uh, the art, the artist uh, perished in his own home. And that house used to belong to the same property at one time. That's the only one we really don't don't know exactly look like because it, there's very few records of that one. But that uh, foundation is all that's left. So. Like design a like a landscape for that, for that area, like uh, making making some sort of like a plaza or something here. Yeah, that's actually the the, the goal for real. Um, to grow like a lot, there's so much graffiti there. We want to grow uh, things like morning glory and uh, and other native and other native plants with that to overgrow the graffiti to cover it up by draping the ivies and stuff, and then. Uh, and create the the real goal is less about the house and more about the conservation easement you know the to uh, allow the gardens to uh, to grow into their full form but overgrown not not totally wild but still natural like disturbed terrain disturbed habitat uh and and let them be part of the general public uh everything but the house you know open it for a a uh, public garden so you want to do also this backyard complex? So your your backyard, the one I'm facing, yeah. you want to turn into a public thing too? Yes. That's right. How are you going to do that? Through non-profit conservation easement. Sorry? Through conservation easement. It's a term that you file oh, okay. to create a space. What is that? So you mean once you plant it, and it's like a valuable area, then with plants, then they give you an easement, the city? Or do you have an easement already? There's uh, there's prescription easement, and then there's our conservation easement. Conservation easement is something that you file uh, with the assessor or a clerk, you know? And that's uh, that's for in the process of drawing a contract for conservation even to give back what we have uh, claim of it to. Oh, okay. What's your name, by chance? Juan. Juan. Uh, my name is Jill. Uh, hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you a, so you're a designer or an architect or? Uh, my wife is a uh, is a Student of uh, Taliesin West, the architecture school, and, I, and I'm a student of the San Francisco Art Institute, or a former student. I graduated, so we are an artist and an artist and an architect uh, together, sort of trying to uh, meld uh, our studio practices by giving back as much as we can. Because we're we're really not interested in one house. It's a uh, the whole neighborhood is a historic preservation overlay and needs needs to be researched and turned into the the historic preservation board of California for for uh, the community at large because there's about 50 houses on this ridge that uh, all qualify for long term historic preservation and uh, with the house. Can I help you? No, I was just looking at the plant. 
Oh, cool. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. I I forget the drawings are there sometimes. My bad. Sorry? Enjoy yourself. What is the picture? Uh, it's a building that uh, is nearby that we're attempting to uh, restore, and uh, it probably can't be restored, so we're trying to convert this this house to uh, represent the uh, former eventually. So it's a long-term goal to make it a pavilion, like a Japanese uh, Japanese pavilion. About 24 by 12 feet. Okay. The garden is very Japanese, you know? What was that? The garden has like a Japanese vibe. The one you're designing. Uh, the, the plan is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's restoration and of uh, the uh, habitat to be native first and then to qualify for tax breaks that are necessary for keeping the place. Um, affordable and then slowly converting it to a Japanese park. Yeah. What are you doing with the water? On you like you have like a water stream? Um, the water is uh, mostly uh, permeable uh, rock is what we're going to be replacing it with, and then uh, we we probably would have a cistern and a swale sort of situation and uh, rain like a rain garden basically out of the uh, permeable rock that will be used for like the Zen garden kind of thing. Hmm. So uh, mostly my, my wife's uh, land at the moment, so I'm I'm a little bit rusty on her vocabulary of it. Are you do you have a floor plan of what you're designing for the interior of the house? Can you say that again? Do you have a floor uh, floor plan of what you are the design the house inside. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, it's uh, there is a floor plan. It's the same one it was originally, but um, yeah, there is one for an, an intention. It's not up there at the moment, but it's probably on the web at uh, wild.org, I think. Um, probably should add it out on the board. So. But as it stands, nothing's uh, changing at the moment. It's just uh, restoration of, and beautification uh, till, till proper permitting is uh, allowed. So for the for the um, you're trying to bring back the house to what what what, what it was originally? Is that it? Um, yeah, basically, uh, with a couple of like. Um, with a couple of twists, but yeah, there's there's too much house. There's there's too much house, so we're just trying to take the top floor and restore it. How do you know it was originally? It's called the research pool from LADPS. Ah, you pull the records. Yeah. And then there's the, uh then there's the archives, the downtown LA archives, and then in the newspaper in the 1930s, uh, there's. There's printed uh, printed articles about uh, what was the address. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. oh. The street used to be called Husted. And instead of doing the street, was once called Husted. H U S T E D. It's a plain uh, Yeah, it's a hotel out there. The street used to be called Husted. H O U S T E D. And they changed it to Ewing, but when it was hoosted, it was a, it was basically an apartment on top, a, a a bar in the middle that was hidden, and then a house at the bottom. So, and uh, on the, uh, the the property above us used to be a ceramics uh, uh, expert who accidentally blew up in his house and his kiln exploded. So, what? The property above you. 
or like right behind you is also the uh, ceramics uh, home of the cer- ceramicist. Like behind you, the empty property. Uh, no, to keep, keep turning around. Uh, all the way, yeah, that one. Yeah, and the guy blew up there. He like uh, and exploded. The house blew up from a gas leak. And so uh, the, art, the artist uh, perished in his own home. And that house used to belong to the same property at one time. That's the only one we really don't don't know exactly look like because it, there's very few records to that one, but that uh, foundation is all as well. So. Can you like design a, like a landscape for for that area, like uh, making making some sort of like a plaza or something here? Yeah, that's actually the the, the goal for real. Um, to grow like a lot. There's so much graffiti there. We want to grow. Uh, Things like morning glory and uh, and other native and other native plants with that to overgrow the graffiti to cover it up by draping the ivies and stuff and then uh, and create co- the the real goal is less about the house and more about the conservation easement you know the to uh, allow the gardens to uh, to grow into their full form but overgrown not not totally wild but still natural like disturbed terrain. Disturbed habitat, uh, and and let them be part of the general public. Uh, everything but the house, you know. Open it up for a a uh, public garden. So you want to do also this backyard complex? So your your backyard, the one I'm facing. Yeah. You want to into a public thing too? Yes. That's nice. How are you gonna do that? Through nonprofit conservation easement. Sorry? Through conservation easement, it's a term that you uh, file so, to, so once you to create, it create a space. Once, what is that? So you mean, once you plant it and it's like a valuable area, then with plants, then they give you an easement to the city? Or do you have an easement already? There's uh, There's prescription easement and then there's our conservation easement. Conservation easement is something that you file uh, with the assessor or a clerk. You know? and that's uh, that's we're in the process of drawing a contract for conservation easement to give back what we have uh, claimable to. Oh, okay. What's your name, by chance? Juan. Juan. Uh, my name is Jill. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Are you a, so you're a designer or an architect? Or? Uh, my wife is a is a student of uh, Taliesin West, the architecture school, and I and I'm a student of the San Francisco Art Institute, or a former student. I graduated, so we are an artist and an artist and an architect uh, together, sort of nice. trying to uh, meld the. Uh, our studio practices by giving back as much as we can. Because we're, we're really not interested in one house. It's a, the whole neighborhood is a historic preservation overlay and needs needs to be researched and turned into the the Historic Preservation Board of California for, for uh, the community at large, because there's about 50 houses on this ridge that uh, all qualify for long-term historic preservation. And uh, that's it. with the house, on the other side, it doesn't seem to to comply with any historical thing. So how how they? I don't I don't really understand because it doesn't seem that they have a novel. I lost you for a minute. The, it broke up. The 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 data broke up for a second. But um, 1855. Uh, Park Drive is a Schindler house. Um, okay. Twenty, uh, twenty, I think forty-five is is a uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Lautner, Lautner house, like a conversion. And then uh, one block below that is another Lautner house. And then there are five or six Harwell Hamilton Harris houses on the ridge. And uh, there's a Gregory Ains house on the on the ridge. And uh, on, on Douglas, there's a uh, nearby. There's a 
Gregory Ames house. So it, it Noik has um, a couple of uh, spots nearby as well, and these are all un un uh, un documented at the moment. Very little uh, research has yes. been uh, exposed. While tons of it has been created, nobody has actually filed the papers to make them known as historic homes. And so. Oh, yes. I'm like on doing a register for uh, registering all those things with this. It's a ridiculously large amount of work, yeah. <laughs> That's what we've been working on for about a year, trying to help uh, create a story that tells the, the history because it's less less about the paperwork and more the love story, you know? There's, are, you, uh, are you dealing with Lambert? Huh? Are you dealing with Lambert at the city? Lambert is like the head of... Uh, uh, at the moment, I've been told that the Historic Preservation Overlay Program doesn't exist because Los Angeles is out of money, so we have to go to the state level. I could be wrong. I finished, recently finished a play in Hollywood, and it's, um, it had a, like, a historic preservation, and I had to deal with a guy called Lambert, and like meet with him a bunch of times. I think that's Lambert. I think that's the guy Lambert? that talking. Lambert. Yeah. LA. Yeah, that's, I mean, like, uh, I, it was, uh, we did a remodel, or it was um, Paul Williams building. You know Paul Williams? Yeah. So we did a remodel. And uh, it's not his best building, you know, but still it's, it's Paul Williams, so the city wants to keep it. Uh, you know, first, like, Af African-American architect or... So they want to they want to keep all of his buildings. So we had to go through through this guy Lambert. It was his, it wasn't his best building, but we had to go through. Him. So I think you should. What do you, what what do you for a living? Or what is your what's your? I'm an architect. What's your, oh right on. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at this at uh, some houses in here, and that one there particularly. I wanted to see also how they do that detail, you know, where they have the. Um, through the house. Yeah, it looks like that the, the neighbor that you're doing it, they, they, like, they hijacked that whole driveway somehow in, in their own. You know? yeah. Crazy. That driveway is yeah. not even part of their lot, but that's yeah. none of my business. Uh, do you come around here often? Cause you, 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 we, we, we'd love to have you in it uh, maybe another day. Today's kind of busy. Uh, no, it would be great. What's your name again? Right on. Um, Jill. Jill. You want uh, a phone number? Yeah, yeah, you can call me. Okay. Yeah, what's your number? It's 323. Uh, yep. 350. 50. 9451. 9451. Right on. I'll... I'll I'll give you a call in like uh, a day or so and have you over for a lunch or dinner or, or just whatever you'd like. And your name yeah, is Juan. So what do you have? What, what ideas do you have? Um, what was your, what's your last name? Or is that, is that something you're willing to share? Martinez. Martinez. Cool. Right on. So oh, yeah, it would be nice to pray what you have in mind. Yeah, uh, my wife and I would love to talk to you about it. Today's kind of a crazy day. No. Um, we have a lot of papers that are actually due in at the city. So. Um, we're in a rush to finish, finish some stuff. I'd love to. Uh, we'll give you a call like uh, this weekend, maybe for Sunday. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, do you have a? Do you know where the house, the house in the front? When was it built? Is it is it like? It, Concrete, or it's just like a concrete stack of what they did. Oh, oh yeah, it's lathen, lathen, uh, lathen plaster, or stucker, stucco, lathen plaster, lathen plaster. And it was built in 1910, 1911. It's in the in that house. Uh, yeah, probably. You said lead. It's uh, it's such a such a weird. They don't see constructions like that anymore. Anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's a. Um, Nightmare to deal with. Beautiful, but it's a nightmare to deal with. 
say that again, please? So much weight. It's so much weight in the lathe and plaster, you know? Every wall is like 1,700 pounds of uh, just just stucco, you know? Yeah. It's crazy. They do a wonderful job of it, but it's it's uh, it's like a balloon. I think it's called balloon um, balloon construction. So it's like transferring the load from uh, vertical uh, uh, two-by-four framing. It's like 18 inches on the ceiling and like... Uh, 16 inches typically, I guess, elsewhere on center. And then the rest of it's just uh, siding, and then the interior is lab and plaster. Yeah. So with with the lab and tube wiring. Uh, and red, I, I believe it's red floors, but I could be wrong on the on the flooring because we still have a lot of 9 by 9 tile to roof to, to see the whole floor clear. But the bottom of it looks quite quite gorgeous. What is what is your what was that? Write... What is your number? Oh yeah. Uh four one five six eight five thirty two eighty nine. Six eight five three two eight nine. And your name? And last name? Uh, Jill, Jill, Jill Sander. Sander, okay. Where are you yeah. from? Yeah. You wanna guess? Where are you from? Do you wanna guess? Oh, uh, Chile or Portugal? Uh, close. Argentina? Argentina? Spain, Spain. Oh, that's cool. Right on. Are you live anywhere near? On the other side, it doesn't seem to to comply with any historical thing. How how they? I don't I don't really understand because it doesn't seem that they have a novel. I lost you for a minute. The, it broke up. The 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 data broke up for a second. But um, 1855 uh, Park Drive is a Schindler house. Um, twenty uh twenty I think forty five is is a uh what's his name uh Lautner Lautner house like a conversion and then uh, one block below that is another lot in the house. And then there are five or six Harwell Hamilton Harris houses on the ridge. And uh, there's a Gregory Ains house on the on the ridge. And uh, on, on Douglas, there's a uh, nearby, there's a Gregory Ains house. So it, it Neutsch has a um, couple of uh, spots nearby as well. And these are all un, un, uh, undocumented at the moment. Very little um, research has been uh, exposed. While tons of it has been created, nobody has actually filed the papers to make them known as historic homes. And so, oh, yeah. like on doing a register for uh, registering all those things with this. It's a ridiculously large amount of work. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we've been working on for about a year, trying to help uh, create a story that tells the the history. Because it's less less about the paperwork and more about the love story, you know. There's are, you, uh, are you dealing with Lambert? Huh? Are you dealing with Lambert at the city? Lambert is like the head of uh, historic preservation. Uh, at the moment, I've been told that the historic preservation overlay program doesn't exist because Los Angeles is out of money, so we have to go to the state level. I could be wrong. I finished recently finished a play in Hollywood, and it's um, it had a, like a historic preservation, and I had to deal with a guy called Lambert, and like meet with him a couple, bunch of times. I think that's Lambert. The guy, I think that's the guy Lambert. you're talking. To. Lambert. Yeah. LA. Yeah, that's. I mean, like huh. I, it was uh, we did a remodel, or it was um, Paul Williams building. You know Paul Williams. Yeah. So we did a remodel, and uh, it's not his best building, you know, but 
still it's, it's Williams, so the city wants to keep it. Uh, you know, first like Afri African American architect, so, so they want to they want to keep all of his buildings. So we had to go through through this guy Lambert. It was his, it wasn't his best building, but we had to go through. Him. So I think you should. What do you, what what do you for a living, or what is your what's your? I'm an architect. Your, oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at this, uh, some houses in here, and that one there particularly. I wanted to see also how they do that detail, you know, where they have the um, through and through the house. Yeah, it looks like the the, the neighbor that you're doing it, they, they, like, they hijack that whole driveway somehow in, in their own you know? yeah. Crazy. That driveway yeah. is not even part of their lot, but that's yeah. not my business. Uh, do you come around here often? Cause you, 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 we, we, we'd love to have you in it. Uh, maybe another day. Today's kind of busy. Uh, no, it would be great. What's your name again? Right on. Um, Jill. Jill. You want uh, a phone number? Yeah, yeah, you can call me. Okay. Yeah, what's your number? It's 323. Uh, three, three. Yep. 350. Three, Five zero. Nine four five one. Nine four five one. Uh, right on. I'll 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 give you a call in like uh, a day or so and have you over for lunch or dinner or or just whatever you like. And your name yeah, is Juan. So what do you have? What what ideas you have? Um. What was your What's your last name? Or is that is that something you're willing to share? Martin Martinez. Martinez, cool. Right on. So, oh, yeah, it would be nice to uh, pray what you have in mind. Yeah, uh, my wife and I would love to talk to you about it. Today is kind of a crazy day. No, um, there's a lot of papers that are actually due in at the city. Um, we're in a rush to finish and stuff. I'd love to. Uh, we'll give you a call like uh, this weekend, maybe for Sunday. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, do you have a? Do you know where the house, the house in the front? When was it built? Is it is it like is it concrete or is it just like a concrete stack or what they did? Oh, sorry. oh yeah, it's lathe and lathe and uh, lathe and plaster, or stucco stucco lathe and plaster lathe and plaster. And it was built in 1910, 1911. It's in that house. Uh yeah, probably. You said lead. It's, uh, it's such a such a weird. They don't see constructions like that anymore. Anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. This, it's a nightmare to deal with. Beautiful, but it's a nightmare to deal with. See that again, please. So much weight. It's so much weight in the lathe and plaster. You know, every wall is like seventeen hundred pounds of uh, just just stucco. You know. Yeah. It's crazy. They do a wonderful job of it, but it's it's uh, it's like a balloon. I think it's called balloon. Um, balloon construction, so it's like transferring the load from uh, vertical uh, uh, two by four framing. It's like 18 inches on the ceiling and like uh, 16 inches typically, I guess, elsewhere on center, and then the rest of it's just uh, siding, and then the interior is lab and plaster. Yeah. So with with the lab and tube wiring. Uh, and red, I, I believe it's red floors, but I could be wrong on the on the flooring because we still have a lot of nine by nine tile to roof to to see the whole floor clearly. But the bottom of it looks quite quite gorgeous. What is what is your? What was that? What is your number? Oh yeah. Uh, Four one five six eight five thirty two eighty nine six eight five three two eight nine. And your name and last name? Uh, Jill, Jill Jill Sander. Sander, okay. Where are you from? Yeah. Do you want to guess? Where are you from? Do you want to guess? Oh, uh, 
Chile or Portugal? Uh, close. Argentina? Sorry? Argentina? Spain, Spain. Oh, that's cool. Right on. Are you live anywhere near? On the other side, it doesn't seem to to comply with any historical thing. How how they? I don't I don't really understand because it doesn't seem that they have a no. I lost you for a minute. The, it broke up. The 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 data broke up for a second. But um, 1855. Uh, Park Drive is a Schindler house, um, 20, uh, 20, I think 45 is, is a, uh, what's his name, uh, Lautner, Lautner house, like a conversion, and then uh, one block below that is another Lautner house, and then there are five or six horrible Hamilton Harris houses on the ridge, and uh, there's a Gregory Ains house on the on the ridge. And uh, on, on Douglas, there's a uh, nearby. There's a Gregory Ann's house. So it, it Noyak has a um, couple of uh, spots nearby as well. And these are all un un uh, un documented at the moment. Very little um, research yes. has been uh, exposed. While tons of it has been created, nobody has actually filed the papers to make them known as historic homes. And so. Oh, yes. Like on doing a register for uh, registering all those things with this. It's a ridiculously large amount of work, yeah. <laughs> That's what we've been working on for about a year, trying to help uh, create a story that tells the, the history because it's less less about the what? paperwork and more about the love story, you know? Are you, uh, are you dealing with Lambert? Huh? Are you dealing with Lambert at the city? Lambert is like the head of. Uh, Historic uh, at the moment, I've been told that the Historic Preservation Overlay Program doesn't exist because Los Angeles is out money, so we have to go to the state level. I could be wrong. I finished recently finished a project in Hollywood, and it's um, it had a, like a historic preservation, and I had to deal with a guy called Lambert, and like meet with him a cup, bunch of times. I think that's Lambert. I think that's the guy you're talking. Lambert. Yeah. LA. Yeah. That's. I mean, like uh, I. It was. Uh, we did a remodel, or it was um, Paul Williams building. You know Paul Williams. Yeah. So we did a remodel, and uh, it's not his best building, you know, but still it's, it's Paul Williams, so the city wants to keep it. Uh, you know, first like Af African American architect or. So they want to they want to keep all of his buildings. So we had to go through through this guy Lambert. It was his, it wasn't his best building, but we had to go through. It. So I think you should. What do you, should, what what do you for a living, or what is your what's your? I'm an architect. Your, oh, right on. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at this uh, some houses in here, and that one there particularly. I wanted to see also how they do that detail, you know, where they have the. Um, through the house. Yeah, it looks like the the that neighbor that you're joining at they they like what? they hijack that whole driveway somehow in, in their own you know? yeah. crazy. That driveway is yeah. not even part of their lot, but that's yeah. none of my business. Uh, do you come around here often? Cause you, 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 we we we'd love to have you in it. Uh, maybe another day. Today is kind of busy. Uh, no, it would be great. What's your name again? Right on. Um, Jill. Jill. You want uh, a phone number? Yeah, yeah, you can call me. Okay. Yeah, what's your number? It's 323. Uh, three. Yep. 350-9451. 350-9451. Five, uh, right on. I'll, I'll I'll give you a call in like uh, a day or so, and have you over for lunch or dinner or or just whatever you like. And your name yeah, is Juan. So what do you have? What what ideas you have? 
Um, what was your what's your last name, or is that, is that something you're willing to share? Tim Martinez. Martinez, cool. Right on. So oh, yeah, I'm, it would be nice to uh, pray while you have in mind. Yeah, uh, my wife and I would love to talk to you about it. Today is kind of a crazy day. Um, we have a lot of papers that are actually due in at the city. So. Um, we're in a rush to finish, finish some stuff. I'd love to. Uh, we'll give you a call like uh, this weekend, maybe for Sunday. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, do you have a? Do you know where the house, the house in the front? When was it built? Is it is it like is it concrete or is it just like a concrete stack or what they did? Oh, sorry. oh yeah, it's laid and laid and uh, and plaster, or stucco stucco laid and plaster, laid and plaster. And it was built in 1910, 1911. In that house. Yeah, probably. You said lead. It's, uh, it's such a such a weird. They don't see constructions like that anymore. Anymore. Oh yeah, yeah. This, it's a nightmare to deal with. Beautiful, but it's a nightmare to deal with. Say that again, please. So much weight. So much weight in the lathe and plaster, you know. Every wall is like seven, eight hundred pounds of uh, just just stucco, you know. Yeah. It's crazy. They do a wonderful job of it, but it's it's uh, it's like a balloon. I think it's called balloon um, balloon construction. So it's like transferring the load from uh, vertical uh, uh, two by four framing. It's like eighteen inches on the ceiling and like. Uh, 16 inches typically, I guess, elsewhere on center, and then the rest of it's just uh, siding, and then the interior is lab and plaster. Yeah. So with with the knob and tube wiring, uh, and red, I, I believe it's red floors, but I could be wrong on the on the flooring because we still have a lot of nine by nine tile to roof to mm -hmm. to see the whole floor clear, but the bottom of it looks quite quite gorgeous. What is what is your I what was that? Right. What is your number? Oh yeah. Uh four one five six eight five thirty two eighty nine. Six eight five three two eight nine. And your name? And last name? Uh, Jill, Jill, Jill Sander. Sander, okay. Where are you from? Yeah. Do you want to guess? Where are you from? Do you want to guess? Oh, uh, Chile or Portugal? Uh, close. Argentina? Sorry? Argentina? Spain, Spain. Oh, that's cool. Right on. Are you live anywhere near? All right, Jill. I think I'm going to take off. It was nice talking to you. Bye. Alright, Jill. I think I'm gonna take off. It was nice talking to you. Bye.
All right, deal. I think I'm gonna take off. It was nice talking to you. Bye. You can never see it before because all of this is covered. Isn't it? Right here, you couldn't see it before. Look, no, you can see right up Fargo now. Oh no. Lauren Burr and Jade says forty is art poetry. Or, or poetry is a shadow. Shadow cast, cast by our street light.
I mean, we talked the other night about. Those are the existing walls that they left. Was it a big house? It was like oh. 1,500 square feet, 1,800 square feet, something uh -huh. like that. What are they doing here? from being hidden for over 30 years. We removed the overgrown jade. The overgrown jade, the sunset to the horizon covered for you to see. Landscaping and parks inspired by Joan Malarin's natural areas of Golden Gate Park, California native plants, garden design in progress in collaboration with the new LA Yard and Landscapia Architecture. Art is practiced here along with various other concerns, pruning trees and repairing the roof, watching and feeding wildlife and so on. Of course, other artists live on these wooded hillsides.
Sí, no, no, estoy metido acá en, en lo más feo que puedo. Y nosotros, este viejo. Sí.